All right, guys. Welcome back. Let's continue with uh, the fundamental problems. Whoa, what was that? Okay. So step one, like we've done in the past, let's draw a free body diagram. In this case, I will draw it. So we have, and it says neglect the thickness of the beam. So don't worry about the thickness of the beam, pretty much. And let's see, just a straight line. Okay, that is our beam. Now let's draw the forces. So here I have force in this direction. And it, uh, it makes a 30 degree angle here. This is 400. Okay, then we're gonna do, let's see. Okay, I have a force here. 200. Uh, what else? Force right here. 200. Another force here. And then. Da -da -da. Okay, and then we're trying to find the reactions at the fixed support. So the fixed support has three different reactions. So it has some force in the x direction, a reaction force in the x, a reaction force in the y direction, and then a moment, okay, and a moment and a, okay, and then to just finish this out, let's just, uh, okay, we're given all these distances, so we're, you know, we have three, Um, this is one, this is one, and one. Oh yeah, and 60 degrees. Okay, so now let's, let's uh, do the static equilibrium equations. Um, oh yeah, uh, one more thing, let's do, let's break this 400 newton force down into its x and y components, so this one is going to be 400 cosine 30 and then 400 sine 30. Okay, now everything is in X and Y. All right, so let's do this first. So F of X. I'm hoping these are becoming way easier now to you. Um, okay, f of x, we have ax, we have plus 400 cosine 30 equals 0. Okay, and that tells me that ax is minus. 400 times cos 30, which is minus 346.4 newtons. Okay, that's one reaction. Now let's do f of y. f of y equal to zero. Okay, then we're going to have ay minus 400 sine 30, which is minus 200, and then minus 200, the top three ones, so time, let's do times three, okay. So these are the three forces, these are the three forces that were given up top. So technically 200 times four, so 200 times four, so we have a y, is equal to 800 newtons. Okay. And then last but not least, we have to find this moment. So what we'll do is just take a moment about A. Okay, so 
moment about point A is equal to zero. Okay, so let's start off with the, the given moment at that point, or like on the, you know, on the uh, on the body. So M A, I drew it as uh, counterclockwise, so it's going to be positive M A. Okay. Now, similar to the last problem, we need to find this distance right here. Okay, so make sure this. I guess I'll draw it up. So this distance. Okay, so I can take my moment. It's going to be three cosine sixty. So that's a nice number because that's one point five. Okay, three cosine sixty. Okay. So now let's just take the moment about um, what's it called. Uh, a. So it'll be, let's start with the closest one, so it'll be 200, and that'll be negative, negative 200 times 1 plus 1.5, that's 2.5, then minus 200 um, times 3.5. 200 times uh, 4.5 okay and I'm gonna have two of these because we said the y component of this force this the one in black is also a 200 force a 200 newton force so technically this is times two okay if if you don't get what I just said just just do them all individually and you'll get the same result okay and then last but not least we have this a x or sorry this uh 400 newton cosine 30 component in the x direction so in that case we have to multiply it by this vertical distance okay that way it's line of action when you just uh, push it down it's gonna intersect a when you bring it down one point, hold on, one point, this will be 3 sine 60. 3 sine 60. Okay. Um, and if, so let's just go back just in case. Um, this line of eight, this x component, right? Oh. This x component is over here right and i have to bring it down until until the line intersects with a okay so i have to multiply by this distance um, and that'll be uh, let's see that'll also be clockwise so minus 400 Cosine 30 times 3 sine 60 equals 0. Okay. And that's it. So it's 200 times 2.5 plus 200 times 3.5 plus 400. 4.5 plus 400 times cosine 30. Sign 60. All right, and then this gives you a moment <clears throat> in the correct direction, so it's counterclockwise of 3900 newton meters. Okay. Um, or you can just say like 3.9 kilonewton. Depending on what your professor wants. Okay, that's it. So very, very basic so far. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for your time. We'll see you in the next video.